When I know I'm gonna be sitting for long, breakfast is a really important part of the day. So I, I tried to eat foods that were high in protein so that it could keep me full for a little while longer, along with drinking water. So in total, I had about 42 grams of protein and I didn't need to eat until I was done with my braids. Hey guys, good morning. So I'm gonna get some knotless braids because I've been talking about it, I want it, and I'm gonna really, 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 really try to wear my hair in braids until December. Obviously redoing the, redoing the whole like entire perimeter area every now and then when it gets old, but I just need to put my hair away. Like I've just been at a point where I just don't know what to do with it. And it's becoming annoying. So my hair is also like breaking a lot, like really, really, really bad. And I know it's because I've been overly, overly manipulating it, but that's because I feel like I don't know what to do with it. And at this point, I also don't care about break it. But now I do because it's just starting to look a little nuts. <laughs> so I, the, the, I'm the going to the African hair braiding shop. I haven't been to one in years. I usually go to my specific braider. But the reason why I'm not going to her is just because um, it's really last minute and I kind of just woke up and said I wanted it done by Friday and I didn't make an appointment so yeah. My aunt also goes to these people and her hair always looks great so I went there on Wednesday to just make sure that they could do it and they said they can. So I ordered the braiding hair um, as far as the human hair. I also have some extra braiding hair in case I don't have enough. I actually came to the beauty, the beauty hair supply, beauty supply store, whatever. I actually came here because I don't know what kind of braiding hair they use. And I my scalp would be so itchy if I don't use the right kind. So I'm really nervous about that. So I just said, you know what, let's get the hair that my braider always uses and try to avoid the itchiness because I have a very sensitive scalp and I will take these braids out and I'm trying not to do that. So anyways, the sign is not open yet. It is 857. And they open at nine, so hopefully I could run in there and shoot straight to the hair braiding shop. I won't do that. Anyways, I don't know what time this was, but I did have her like help me record and get some footage, and I also kind of wanted to like see what was going on and how it was looking. And so far, I was highly impressed. Now I did have two braiders in my hair. Oh, by the way, this is the hair that I use. It is from Lugo's hair. It is twenty inches, semi wavy, and I only needed two bundles. We used a little less than half a little more than half of the second bundle this is the braiding hair that i used now this is how each braid looked now i'm gonna break it down to you guys for each braid she basically added on two to three to four pieces of individual bohemian or human hair and then at the end she finished off with the human hair my main concern and goal here was I wanted to have as much hair out as possible. I cannot wear sew-ins these days. So for me, I wanted it to look like a sew-in, but also have the ease of having braids. So that's why it was very important that I had really good hair. And that's why it was important that I had a lot of hair left out. The entire point of this hairstyle was to stop at my real hair so you can see my hair is short it's damaged it's all over the place so it was kind of giving the look regardless and then she also did alter it as well so i didn't want all the braids to stop at one complete section i wanted it to be kind of staggered but I, and then each braid is different like i mentioned before that is prima and that is Laylee, i believe her name is um yeah, they did a pretty good job. I would say the one in the front that was doing my hair, she does braid a little bit more tighter. But if you tell her like, hey, not tight, she will braid loose. The one in the back, love her, amazing. They both were amazing and were just very accommodating. One started in the front and as she did one braid, she would make me look at it and be like, do you like this? And we would go over and inspect it and then she would go to the next braid and the next braid. So they were just very just like trying to make sure that the style was executed and that I was just like in love with what was going to be the end result. Now, I did go to the shop two days ahead of time because I also wanted to just make sure that they could do the style. <laughs> Oh, look so look at this braid look at that that's exactly what each braid looks like and then she put hair glue at the end my real hair is nowhere near that hair glue however you can actually comb i mean sorry nail glue not hair glue nail glue you can actually comb out that nail glue because i did try to attempt it on one braid and i was able to like comb it out so it did not damage the human hair so that was actually good to know too so i can kind of like save it maybe for next time another thing i will tell you guys Oh wait, so th this is my progress so far. It looked so good. This is how the hair looks completely out of the bundles. 
so you'll get that nice curly look when you wash and wet your hair would think small would be smaller but to be honest i am a-okay with this size like i am a-okay i told them to do exactly how my aunt's hair is same size same square same everything and this is how it looked directly after i i just was in love i was like you guys executed very well now one thing that i had to do is i had to hold the pieces of hair and give her the pieces of hair okay i'm gonna be very honest with y'all now usually i'd be like i don't really want to do that but once she told me this is gonna make the thing go by faster i said sure <laughs> Give me the hair, sis. <laughs> like, I will hold the hair. And it did go by fast. I was just passing out those pieces, which is why I don't have much footage. But I was just passing out those pieces little by little by little by little. And we were just moving. Like, it was going by so fast. Around 3.07, we basically were done around, like, 3 o'clock, 3.05-ish. Around 3.07, you can see she's, like... She didn't want to put, like, water or product on the hair because she was, like, I know the hair is really good. So if you want, when you go home, you can go ahead and put your own products on it. And I was, like, okay... I am A-OK -okay with that. So this is how it looks with a teeny, teeny, teeny bit of water. Now, I didn't want a curly hair. I wanted a very loose wave. So this was so pretty to me that I was just like, oh, I am satisfied. Now, this is me the next day. And I have this thing where I just have to wash my hair directly after the i get my hair braided or the next day i'm telling you guys it is a game changer if your braids feel any bit of tight or just too close to the root it will soften it up it also makes the braid look softer so at this point i didn't wash it yet but it makes the braid look softer it just makes it look more lively and lived in so yeah but i wanted to show you guys how the braids look directly after like leaving the shop look how short that braid is that's when my real hair ends and before I went ahead and did any like maneuvering or anything. Um, as for edges, I also asked her like, you don't have to do the edges, don't worry, I'll do that at home. Um, so here I am just washing out all the product. And it's not product that they put in, it's kind of like whatever was on the actual human hair. This was 1B, so technically it shouldn't have had any color on it. But when I was washing it, there was like a little bit of, you know, uh, residue coming from it. So I'm kind of happy that I did go ahead and wash it. Now, people always ask me, what kind of products are you using to wash your braids? There are products out there, but girl, I just picked up any shampoo and conditioner that was in my shower and washed my hair with it. Make sure you are running your hands through your hair as you are washing it because it will get tangled. Treat this like a sew-in. I don't know why people keep saying their boho braids get tangled so bad or it's just such a knotty mess and yes it can get there but if you're treating it like actual bundles and an actual sewing or an actual wig you would have to comb your hair right whether you're washing it or not so treat it the same exact way so for conditioner i did put conditioner on the hair again you see i'm being very gentle with my hair i still want my hair to look new and fresh but a little bit more lived in and i'm just running my hands through it making it nice and silky and so forth now it's time to dry the hair now my method is a little bit it's simple but it's easy enough to follow along it takes about like 15 minutes at most i split my hair into four two pieces on each side and then i finger detangle first right i'm just splitting all the braids individually i run my hands through it then second i get the denman brush and usually you would brush from bottom to top and work your way up to the top but i feel like i've tested it out and working from the top down very gently actually is more effective i feel like from the bottom up you do risk possibly losing some hair from the braid or maybe pulling out some hair from the braid so i feel like when it's the other way around you're a-okay -okay and no hair like little to no hair comes out okay so now i'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing to the last section in the back I did go ahead and speed this up a little bit because I'm like, okay, we, we kind of get the gist. <laughs> and then after that, I go again and do another finger de detangle just to make sure that everything is really detangled. You can also use detangler as I'm using. I don't put much product on my hair because to me, I just like my hair to be flowy and, you know, you know, free. But again, detangler if you want. This is also another step you don't have to do, but I will take sometimes each braid and just like curl it around my finger so that it gives it even more of that like wavy, curly, natural curl look. And then a diffuser. Again, this is totally optional. 
totally optional, okay? I do this and I like it because it fluffs the curls even more. If you don't have a diffuser, if this air dries just like this, it will still look the same exact way as the diffuser. I promise you. Promise. And then we go ahead and repeat all the steps from the left side onto the right side. And as you're doing this, make sure you're grabbing the hair. You hold the hair very firm, okay? You see I'm grabbing it and then I'm brushing down. Don't just brush it like it's an actual, like, you know, from the root down. Remember, it still braids. So hold it firmly and then gently work your way down with your fingers or your Deadman brush. And again, like I was telling you, you can diffuse or you can scrunch. Diffuse or scrunch. Either way, you're going to get that end result because the hair is just naturally like this. So it's just totally a personal decision and what tools you have around you. If I go on vacation with this hair, I will not have a diffuser. So scrunching will be my only best option. I would actually scrunch with a t-shirt or a towel. I even put my hair upside down just for a more like, you know... A more like fluffier look but this is my end result and i was just was like i was in love the hair was still a tad bit damp but when it dried it was just so pretty and even just now it just looks so nice it smells so good compared to how i left the shop like washing your hair just does so much of a difference and i always tell people that i'm like please wash your braids after then I use um, Gotta Be Glued and a blow dryer to do my edges. This is the only way my edges will actually stay in place. The only way. Other than that, they are very unruly and will do their own thing. So I just get a little bit of edge control. I make sure it's very tacky. And then I get an edge control brush. And then I hold it in place and then blow dry it. And this will stay for a couple of days. I am a sweater. So I do sweat. And this does stay. And it's not so greasy, so it's not clogging my pores or creating any pimples around my hairline. I'm very sensitive around there, but at this point, I was very, very, very satisfied with my hair. And I think I was getting ready to leave this day, if I'm not mistaken, but um, love it. I just love it. Look how pretty this is. My Pinterest board, my Pinterest hairstyle inspo came out exactly what I imagined. Super in love and super satisfied. Please check them out. They are honestly amazing and i will be i will be going back to them for my braids all right guys we're going to pilates today on this beautiful saturday um i am gonna try to see if i can get some food really quick because i didn't get to eat and i gotta be there in less than an hour so if i could eat within 10 minutes you know you really shouldn't eat before pilates because you know certain moves make you want to like kind of puke i don't know i was kind of thinking like maybe i should just have a smoothie because I don't want to puke through a certain moves and I'm taking my favorite instructor. She's a little, she's a little intense and I don't want to be puking <laughs> or feeling sick. So, and I already have like, you know, my period. So I'm going to just tread lightly, but yeah, I'm going downstairs. Come on. <laughs> 